Hey everyone, this is my cheap Chinese 2000 watt inverter, 12 volts to 220. Uh, it's not 2000 watts. Um, I pushed maybe 800 through it, and it runs okay with that, so probably wouldn't want too much more than that. So, um, yeah, at most 1000 watts I'd probably push out of this thing. Uh, build quality is pretty alright. Uh, it did arrive with a fair bit of corrosion around bits and pieces, but yeah, you kind of get that a bit with these Chinese ones. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it has been working quite well. I sort of shut it off overnight, so it's only running a few hours in the afternoon. Um, we had a little bit of rain and a little bit of water got in here. So hopefully it's just that, And but it's killed our boost side. So we need to replace all those, I pulled them all out, and we also need to replace all the gate resistors. So I'm just going to go grab some gate resistors and we'll come back. So I don't keep pest SMD parts in stock. I've got the exact MOSFETs that I need for it. These are IRF 3205s. Pretty, pretty generic. Uh, 55 volt, 110 amp, uh, gate source, 20 volts, 8 milliohm sort of resistors. Pretty generic. Standard, get them off. So, some measure 55 ohms, some measure your 10 ohms, but um, it's they've all got like black dots on them, so I think it's just best to replace them all. And one more. Yep, that's all of them. So we need two on each six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lost one. That's him there. There we are. Now we have to get that resistor and place the um, tiny little SMD part. That's okay. I'll just fold the legs around like that. And we'll trim the legs off and we'll solder them onto the bags, pads. So I'm going to oh, wrong end, much smaller tip. Uh, this tip is 0.8 millimeter wedge tip. Let's put this in. Turn the output back on. Give him a little bit of solder. All right, good to go. Alright, so there's our first resistor. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of those. Hey everyone, um, we, I have just, without you guys, uh, I've thrown, so I've replaced all those guys, as I said I did. I've put two of the MOSFETs in and tested just those two because you got basically three sets boost converters in parallel and it charges a DC bus which are these two capacitors in parallel and that goes on to the H bridge output so I put one of these in it all worked great uh, so now I've just got to put the other four MOSFETs in Cleaned up, all the MOSFETs put back on. 
one other issue when these MOSFETs blew a small piece this this large track that comes through here which goes to the transformer where it sort of narrows to go to the inductor pad the MOSFET pad it, it's blown the um, copper off the board so I mean yeah, good thing. Uh, basically meant that the um, MOSFETs didn't self-destruct themselves and make a big mess sort of a thing, but um, just means we have to put some... I think I might just put a piece of wire. and just put that wire right there and then follow it up to that had for the transformer. So, finished all my MOSFETs, I've added, these ex I've added these extra bits of copper in, help with current to these MOSFETs now, uh, because it did damage the track PCB, so obviously it's underrated, and who knows, I could have stressed these beforehand, and they blew now, and uh, I just threw a little bit extra, I just... It's only a small piece of copper up through the to the center tap of the transformer, so I'll, I'll put the assembly this back together and it's gonna work. Alright, hope you like my videos, YouTube. Please like them, give them a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. See you guys.